Today we're gonna to show you a super short video on how to change the solenoid uh, unloader on a DSX York screw compressor. The one pictured here is a DSX 45 screw compressor, but this same arrangement is found on the 30, DSX 36 and a DSX 24 screw compressor. Step one is make sure the compressor is isolated from the system and that there's no pressure inside the compressor. Next, you're gonna to want to remove this. For this purposes, we have removed the solenoid uh, coil already um, and have just the stem showing. So first thing is that we're gonna to wanna to loosen this up. Make sure you have a long enough socket that you don't damage the solenoid stem. Now you see all the ports here. It, this can only fit in this port. You can't make a mistake of what port to go into. Uh, plus you're gonna be, be removing it from the old one. You can see you take it out. Uh, make sure everything looks clean and whatnot. Uh, you get the new one. The new one will come with the O-rings already on it. You can just inspect to make sure they're okay. Um, no nicks or micro tears. Then you'll take the new one, install it, install it in. You then tighten it. And then you're gonna torque this. So you're not gonna wanna torque the valve body more than 10 foot pounds. The next one, then um, you're gonna wanna put the, the coil on, put the nut and this nut on the solenoid coil, you're not gonna exceed three foot pounds. So the valve body, you do not exceed 10 foot pounds and the, the nut on top of the solenoid coil, you do not exceed three foot pounds. And that's it, super simple. You just change your solenoid uh, unloader on the DSX York script.